Hey YouTube, Nash here again. Today we're working on my daughter's 2007 Chrysler Sebring. Yeah, she needed front struts, uh, so passenger one was really bad. So I figured we'd just replace them both. And uh, again, 1A Auto, went there, got some parts. Um, the kit came with the, uh, the uh, sway bar links as well. So good thing we're replacing those because the driver's side I already did. And uh, the sway bar link, I ended up having to cut it out and grind it out because it was rusted on there so bad. Um, hopefully this one will go a little easier and won't be as difficult. So let's take a look at what we have here. So this one is a lot simpler than the 2008 Ford Taurus I did this weekend. As you can see, it's just the two bolts holding the strut mount assembly right onto the knuckle. So that's simple, easy to remove. And the only other bolt we have to take out is this one, because uh, this is attached to the assembly. And of course, we have to get the uh, sway bar link out, which um, I ended up just cutting it and then grinding, cutting this and then grinding that right down so I could get the bolt out of there It was rusted on. I'm afraid I'll probably have to do the same thing here, but uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so this video will be a lot shorter than the uh, 08 Taurus that I did. So I'm gonna get to work and then I'll come back and show the end result. Okay, well, I didn't have to, I did cut this one in half. As you can see, I cut it in half um, to take the pressure off the sway bar here um, but then I couldn't get my if you can see this I couldn't get my socket on the end of the um, end of that bolt because if you look if you can see it's a hex head hex head internal so you put it on there and then you can ratchet it off well I couldn't get the ratchet on there whoops sorry couldn't get the ratchet on there so what I did is I took the jack, floor jack, and just lightly jacked the uh, sway bar up a little bit, just enough for me to get in there. And it's coming off real easily, a lot easier than the other side. So that's a bonus. This side's gonna be a little bit quicker. The old strut assembly is out. The new one is partially in, but I wanted to stop to show you this because this is the mistake I made on the other side. Um, on the other side, I only put one nut on just to hold it in place. Didn't put the other two in. Well, when I got the whole bottom tightened up, this thing turned and then the holes went line, the bolts won't come back through the holes. So I had to take it all apart, twist it back around. So, um, and these are just not even hand, uh, hand tight or anything. I just, as you can see, they're just barely on there. That's just enough to hold it in place while I put the knuckle back in. We got her all back together. Everything's nice and tight. Um, now the last thing to do is the three bolts on the top in the engine compartment. Um, now I don't think this is necessary, but I like to do this because if you look at these three bolts, there's not a lot of space between them. This one's taking up most of the uh, force down force right now but I like to take this jack and just very lightly jack it up until that stops moving I'll do it again so you can see what I'm talking about so you watch the strut move upward and I just jack it until Okay, it's not moving now, the whole car is going up, which means that's telling me the strut is all the way to the ceiling. See how much room, more room I have on those bolts? Now, the reason I do that is that way I am not putting extra stress on the threads trying to pull the weight of, you know, pulling all of this weight up using those threads. Now, I do that lightly because I don't know if you can see this, but that's right on the 
ball joint and I don't want to break that or anything. So I just, just do it a little and then I can tighten these down. These are 15 millimeter. And I believe these have some kind of uh, gasket or something on the inside of them that helps lock them down. Because when I get to a certain point, I can't hand, hand tighten them in anymore, so. Now that only makes sense to me. I don't know if that's actually necessary, but I did do an O2 Stratus. And I think I ended up stripping some of these out because now I can't get the, the nuts off them. So I'm just gonna leave that one alone. It doesn't make any noise. Everything's tight on it. So yeah, so I, since then I've been doing that just so I don't need to replace anything. Again, uh, you don't wanna spend twice the amount of money on one job. So yeah, that's it. 2007 Chrysler Sebring, front strut mount, full assembly. Um, pretty easy and straightforward. Thanks guys. And if you uh, like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll be doing more videos on different uh, car repairs and stuff like that. So maybe some radio replacements, uh, wiring, and things like that. Right now, it just seems like all my vehicles need mechanical attention. So yeah, yeah. if you like the videos, subscribe to my channel, leave comments. Uh, maybe you guys have easier, faster ways to do something. Uh, yep, just leave comments down below. Thanks guys.